नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं अभिजीत और आप देख रहे हैं एपी स्टडी सर्कल वीडियो में आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर अभी तक आपने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो इस चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर लें और बेल आइकन को भी जरूर दबा दें क्योंकि जब भी नया कोई वीडियो आएगा आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाएगा of the engineering thermodynamics book written by P K Nag the question is like this exhaust gas leaving an internal combustion engine at 800 degree celsius and atmospheric pressure after having done 1050 kJ of work per kg of gas in the engine Where the CP of gas is 1.1 kilojoule per kg Kelvin, and the temperature of the surrounding is 30 degrees Celsius. Now the question demands: How much available energy per kg of gas is lost by throwing away the exhaust gases? And in the second part of the question, it asks that: What is the ratio of the lost available energy, which we have just calculated in the first part, to the Engine work that is one zero five zero kilojoule per kg of gas. Okay, uh, first of all, it is not a question of loss in available energy. Why I am saying that it is not a question of loss in available energy because we are considering the exhaust gases. Which are at 800 degree Celsius, leaving the internal combustion engine as a finite source, right? And the exhaust gases, as it is leaving the internal combustion engine, means it is rejecting to the surrounding that is at 30 degree Celsius. This exhaust gas, which was having some available energy with it, was lost as it was. thrown away from the engine or it has been rejected to the surrounding so that available energy it is demanding the question is demanding what was that available energy which was associated with this hot exhaust gas which is leaving that internal combustion engine so we will again we will uh, consider this hot gases as a finite energy source and we will try to find out the available energy that available energy which was associated with this exhaust gases and then in the second part we will compare that available energy which was associated with the gas with the engine work which we have got after the combustion process was completed that means uh we will have that ratio between this exhaust gas available energy associated with the exhaust gases and the work done which we have got from that internal combustion engine so let's start okay so we have that uh, available energy with us as m c into T minus T zero. T is the source temperature, and T zero is the surrounding temperature. As usual, uh, in our previous videos, also we have used this formula, and it's quite uh, effective formula right now because every time we are using this formula to solve the question. Okay, so here, as it is says that per kg of gas, we have uh, it is also demanding the available energy we want. in per kg terms so this can be eliminated okay so i can write that directly c into t minus t0 right t0 ln t by t0 okay ah uh, c t is what 800 Degree Celsius. Okay, 
this 800 degree Celsius when you convert it into Kelvin it will be coming as 1073 Kelvin and T0 as it is 30 degree Celsius after converting it will be 273 plus 30 that will be 303 Kelvin okay and also the CP of gas is also given in the question itself that is 1.1 so I will write as 1.1 into T is nothing but 1073 and T0 is 303 okay not a issue minus 303 into LN uh, okay uh, I just um, 1073 by it is uh, 303 again and when you calculate the this all this thing you will get the value as uh, 425.55 kilo joule per kg as it demands in per kg terms ok now it is the first part it is the first part the answer to the first part this is the available energy which is associated with this exhaust gas that is been leaving out and this is the available energy which is lost as the exhaust gases are leaving that combustion engine and it can't be utilized so this is the available energy associated with exhaust gases now let's find out the ratio uh, the ratio can be written as loss of available that is the AE of I am writing it as exhaust right exhaust okay by engine work done okay engine work done like this so it will be 425.55 by 1050 okay so it will come as 0 0.405 and this is your answer for the second part hope you understand this question uh, well and if you find this video useful like this video share with your friends and if you have any problems or doubts you always welcome in the comment section